Halifa University Space Technology and Innovation Center, also known as Acoustic, is established through the support of a UAE Space Agency, Yasa Communication Company, and Halifa University. Acoustic is aimed at achieving UAE's long-term vision in space exploration, technology development, and applications. Acoustic is currently undertaking a number of advanced space research projects, including developing a 6U uh, CubeSat technology demonstrator at low Earth orbit, synthetic aperture radar payload for CubeSat, and developing a multi-directional microelectric propulsion system. The integral part of Acoustic is YASA Space Lab, uh, which focuses in the design, assembly, integration, and testing of a CubeSat. A CubeSat is considered a cutting-edge technology. It's a small satellite that can perform and collect information for extensive research on areas where humans cannot reach. In the ASAT Space Lab, we have designed and developed four CubeSats of different sizes, starting with the smallest 1U CubeSat called MySat-1 that incorporated an experimental battery with a camera. The second one is called RabiSat, which is a two-unit satellite to test novel attitude control algorithms in space. A three-unit MISINSAT to study the greenhouse gases and a three-unit light one CubeSat to detect the terrestrial gamma ray flashes through the thunderstorm activities. And right now, a six-unit CubeSat is being developed in the lab with a micropropulsion system that will be its main payload. So our efforts are aimed at addressing key design challenges in, realiza in the realization of SAR payloads for CubeSat applications. Specifically, our objective is to design an antenna, a transceiver, a SAR processor, and to integrate all of them within small, a small form factor. SAR is a uniquely devised technology for all weather earth, uh, earth observations in various remote sensing applications, including surveying and tracking. However, the existing space-based SAR systems rely on large and expensive satellites placed at high altitudes. These systems could not be used for Earth observations over large areas and short revisiting times. So to address this challenge, Acoustic has been working on realizing new space-borne SAR systems to be deployed with constellations of CubeSats in the lower Earth orbit, or LEO. This is in fact aligned with the UAE's Space Agency's program aimed at developing uh, CERB, which is a constellation uh, kind of project. A microelectric propulsion system is a huge step into controlling CubeSats in orbit, where the CubeSat can change its attitude while collecting data at different locations. And a CubeSat constellation will aid in the process of building a network of a wide range of coverage for research purposes. We also test its receivers here in the ground station to make sure our antennas are working well. The research projects and the initiatives proposed by Acoustic will contribute to key sectors of the space economy here in UAE. Acoustic will play a critical role in developing extraterrestrial mobility vehicles and advance space sensor technologies. Here in Khalifa University, we're working on various sensing technologies. One of these technologies is radiation detection that's considered a great asset for space exploration. MemRister is an emerging memory technology. MemRister device can provide sensing, memory, and computation in the same cell, which paves the way toward developing smart sensors that can provide more dimensions of information based on the computation feature. Our target is to develop efficient, ultra-low power graphene-based MemRister devices, and then to be fly-tested taking the advantage of UAE space effort so that it can be used in the future as a standard space sensor according to its unique features. In my PhD, I'm working on space robotics field. My work is about characterizing the soil in space rover using neomorphic vision sensor to identify the loose soil. We have also the potentiometer to measure the sinkage, and the last sensor is the force torque sensor to measure the normal load and the drawbar pull force. Also, I'm working with the team to develop a new rover design which has an adaptive locomotion system. This rover will be able to transverse different types of terrains and different inclination due to the moving legs in the design. Machine learning based control system is used to position the legs based on the terrain conditions. 
These techniques that we are working on now can be used later for the UAE Future Space Project. Kustik is a great place for students to learn, grow, and excel because they will not only gain hands-on experience by utilizing the state-of-art facilities, but have the unique opportunity to work on a space mission. If I had to ultimately hone in on one thing, it would be that it provides hand-on based exposure for students about space science and technology. The professors here are providing the support that we need. There are many experts with different backgrounds and I'm planning to apply my knowledge during my PhD projects in the UAE Future Space Missions. The center greatly contributes toward achieving Abu Dhabi vision of knowledge-based economy by educating students on state-of-the-art technologies that will be the main pillars for the future UAE economy. It is extremely exciting to work in this field because there is a mystery in space exploration and there is a lot more that we can find out. It is critical that Acoustic continue to engage and attract collaborations to create innovative ideas to address emerging technical challenges. Therefore, together we make future sustainable space exploration a reality.